Hi, I'm Lark, and I'm here to share what I've learned from the successes and failures that I've experienced on my musical journey, and to give you my knowledge and insights to help you on your incredible, magical journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and also hit the notification button so you don't miss out. If you want to be successful, you need to be intentional, and one of the best ways to do this is through a formal marketing strategy. A marketing strategy sets out your goals, how you'll achieve your goals, and how you'll measure your success. This is a formal plan that you can stick to, but you can and should tweak this plan along the way if you need to. So the first thing you need to do is work out what your goals are for your music. What do you value most? The number of streams, the number of playlists you get added to, or the number of subscribers that you have, or all three. So you need to be specific about what you want to achieve. Watch my YouTube video on branding, which will help you to define who you are and what you're all about. And this will help you to identify your goals and make them specific. So across the board, the standard for setting goals is the SMART method. Specific. Use numbers and deadlines. For example, 10,000 views of my music video. Measurable. How will you track and measure the number of views you get? Use analytics to determine who your fan base is and where they're located. Attainable. Getting a number one on the billboard charts is tough even for the best-selling artists. So start with something attainable, like three radio interviews or to be featured as an artist in an online blog. You should stretch yourself, of course, with goals that might be just out of your reach so that you have to work for it. Always keep that billboard number one in your line of sight, but focus your budget and your effort where you can make an immediate impact. Relevant. So your plan needs to be relevant to your goals. If your goals are for streams and subscribers in online music stores, you don't want to print physical CDs that you don't have a distributor for. So focus your budget and effort on your defined goals. Time. Set a timeline for when your strategy will end. Generally, you want to intensely work a song for about six weeks, but you can set your end date for the plan for three, six or 12 months. And if you've got multiple songs or albums to release, you might want to pull it up at the three month mark. You'll also need to figure out your overall music strategy. Are you going to release singles or albums and why? So my personal preference for myself is to release singles. So that way I can fully work and maximize every single song. Some people have a full story to tell with their album or could be such prolific songwriters that they write a few albums a year. It's personal preference, but it's important to also include this in your strategy. The next thing you need to do is to decide on your budget. So this can be as small or as large as you can afford. Your budget needs to be prioritized against the goals that you have set. So if you're using online distribution, I highly recommend setting a budget for paid social media ads that you can target according to analytics. So for example, if most of the people listening to your music are from India, you'd want to promote your music to your biggest fan base in India. You can spend as much or as little as you can afford on social media advertising and the analytics give you great insight into who your fans are. So this will also help you to target your future releases. So next, you need to figure out your marketing channels. How are you going to get your music to your fans and potential fans? If you already have a strong fan base on YouTube or Instagram, those will be your main channels for marketing your music. Don't try to boil the ocean, pick a small number of channels that you can focus on and give 100% to those rather than giving 30% across a multitude of channels where you might not even have any followers. So you'll need to figure out a timeline for your release. In your timeline, identify dates for each step that you're going to take. For example, develop assets such as a photo and a logo that could be done eight weeks prior to release. Upload your song to an online distributor six weeks prior to release and so on. So keep a calendar handy so that you can stay on track with those dates. So there are businesses that specialize in promoting your music to radio stations, TV, in-store radios and online blogs. So if you decide to use this type of service, you should ideally engage with them at least four to six weeks prior to your release. So make sure you shop around to see which service fits within your budget. 
Uh, I would also factor in a teaser campaign. So this is a pretty simple thing to do. So a live stream of you performing your song, a 10 second snippet, or a teaser trailer for your new music video. So ideally you wanna start this three to four weeks prior to your release. You can also do a pre-save campaign now this gives your fans a chance to save your song before it gets released. Watch my video on music distribution for more information on this. So when your strategy ends, it's important to undertake an evaluation. Did you achieve the goals that you set? If not, why? What were the barriers? What are the lessons learned so that your next strategy is even better? So tell me what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more content and also hit the notification button so you don't miss out.